Hi Scorpio, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your weekly general reading for January 8th through January 14th. This is intended to be a general reading. I am going to do a separate love reading, but here is a general reading. Work, finances, general. If love comes up, it comes up. I'll let you know. This is for the sign of Scorpio, and this is just going to be kind of like a mini reading, and I have pre-shuffled this deck, so I'm not going to. I think we're ready to go. This is for the sign of Scorpio. Let's make sure that this is focused in. Looks pretty good. Okay, so in general, I mean, it starts, it looks pretty good. I mean, with that sun card being the basis of your reading, it does look good. I mean, that is happiness, alignment, bliss. It's the basis of your reading. So above all, you're going to be fine. Whatever's going on, it's a pretty good week. Um, yeah, I think that there's been some kind of ending. There's been some kind of completion here. But the Ten of Wands right next to the Ten of Swords, something has ended. And I think it was stressful. You know, there's been a, there was some kind of deceit, whether it was your own self-deceit or deceit from another, there was some kind of deceit that's over, it's been brought out, the truth came out with that, that King of Swords right there, it's like, the clarity came out, there's no more confusion, there was something that was probably being hidden that's now out on the table, and it's making you feel good, it's like, whew! You know, boy, that was lifted. That that freaking that burden was lifted, um, and now now it's just time to work on yourself. Okay, you're just no longer going to have your guard up as much. I mean, you still probably do. It does feel like you kind of still have your defenses up, but not as much as you did. You may have let go of something from the past. I'm not sure if it's a job. It could have been. Or it could be even some thought, some negative thought that you have released. You've decided to just move past it. Um, I feel like I see some freedom here. You know, it's just it's, somebody could be leaving something. You know, they could have had something, some kind of bickerment with a boss, okay, with somebody in authority that, you know, now that's over. Now it's over. Maybe, maybe uh, you know, the... the you guys have hashed it out or whatever. The the truth has been told and the, and the shit's on the table and it's being dealt with. It's like there's no more need to um, to hide it, okay? No more hiding the truth. It feels like... Uh, you still may be you still may be trapped there though you may be trapped in this position that you don't want to be in and i feel like this is career wise you know and this well this could have to do with a father figure as well you know there's there's some kind of um being trapped you know not being able to move forward when you want to it's like you're you've been trying to prove yourself to this person could be a father could be a boss but i feel like um there's been some dishonesty. There's been some dishonesty that perhaps has has come out. You know, somebody was lying. Somebody was cheating. Somebody was doing something. And now the, the truth has come out. And it look, I mean, it looks pretty good. It looks like where there was confusion, there is no more confusion, you know, because it's, it's no longer being hidden. Um, and, and the ultimate happiness is here. It's here. It's like you're feeling good again, like, whew, you know, a big relief. I, I feel a big relief that that something is over with. Something has ended, and it is a huge relief for you. Um, let's get some more cards. I want to confirm or clarify, actually. I want to clarify what this Eight of uh, Swords is. Ah, depression, anxiety. You're stuck somewhere that you don't want to be. It's causing you some kind of worry. You're worried about... Uh, maybe you're worried about your father or worried about your husband, something like that. There's some kind of worry here where you're worried about something. You're worried about something. What, what, what are they worried about? What's the deal? What's going on for Scorpio? Yeah. Somebody you could, some of you are worried about some kind of truth. You're worried about some kind of secret. You were, or you were worried, you know, you're worried about this truth coming out. And perhaps now it's time to forgive. It's time to forgive whoever this is that 
that was dishonest with you, that did lie. It's maybe forgiveness is what brings happiness. You decide to forgive the situation and move on from it. It's like there's some kind of letting go. I'm just going to let go. I'm going to move on. I'm not going to hold this grudge anymore. You know, I'm not going to hold a grudge. I'm going to move on because... You know, this all this has bought, brought me is dissatisfaction, and it's time to be happy again. So it feels to me like you guys were trapped in a situation, whether it's at work or in a relationship or with a family member. You are trapped in a situation that, you know, you're just, you want to free yourself from or you are freeing yourself from. Perhaps some dishonesty, some untruth has become or is about to come out that is going to make you very happy and make you feel at peace again. Why do they have their guard up? Why does Scorpio have their guard up? Because somebody's not telling the truth. You have your guard up because you know somebody's not telling the truth. Something needs to end and somebody is holding it inside. It's like there's some kind of dishonesty here and it's really weighing you down. It is. And you just, you're, you're holding, your guard is up because you know somebody is, is telling a lie. You know somebody is lying and, and, and being dishonest. What's the outcome? What is the outcome in this? It appears that the secret is going to come out. Okay, the secret's going to come out and you're going to have to do some forgiving. Whether you forgive yourself or you forgive somebody else, forgiveness is going to be needed. Yeah, and you're, you're probably going to let go completely. You're just going to walk away from something. That's what it appears. It appears that you are going to have to struggle through this and just let go. No more being in limbo. No more resisting the change. It's time to go. Whatever this is, it's time. It's time to work this out and be happy again. So I think this week is about being happy again and forgiving. Okay, so this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. This is this could be in regards to a relationship, or it could be in regards to work or, or whatever, or family, because it feels like somebody has been um, dominating you, whether it's a father, a mother, uh, a boss, or a husband, or a wife. It feels like somebody has been trying to dominate you, and you have been waiting for this to change you've been waiting for something to come out and it's probably going to and it's going to allow you to let go let's get some advice here because it's just it's been too much it's it's really caused some stress you've been going through a lot of stress being trapped not being able to make a move perhaps this week is the week that you release you're able to release and it brings you the ultimate happiness because right now you're in the past you have not been happy and here's your advice. Have confidence. Huh. Moving forward. Interesting. Have confidence. Moving forward does not necessarily require you to have confidence in yourself. Confidence in God is enough, along with knowing that God works through you and with you in all ways. Lean upon us if your confidence wavers, and we will buoy your courage and faith. So for many of you, you are contemplating moving away from something that has been very um, controlling, dominating, uh, uneasy. You've felt trapped, depressed, um, losing sleep over it, unhappy. And I think that this week you are contemplating or you are absolutely letting go. You're releasing the past. You're having forgiveness, and you're moving forward, and you're bringing happiness to yourself. That's what I see. Stay tuned for your love reading coming up next.